Hello, hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another video! Okay, let's check it out. What is this that we have in front of you? Yes, guys, it's a car. Yes, it has four wheels. <laughs> yes, and I'm not trying to make fun of the car. It's just that it doesn't look like the normal, typical car that we may be used to see. Now, this was called a three-door 2 plus 2 hatchback. I'm not sure what they mean 2 plus 2. Uh, <laughs> either it's a hatchback, it's a sports car. If you wouldn't tell me the 2 plus 2, this and that, I would have said this was a sports car. To my eye, it looks more like a sports car than a hatchback. But this is a 143 scale 1990 Toyota Serra. Okay, this Toyota Serra, it's a very unknown model for me. I never seen one in person. These models were not exported to North America, at least. I am not sure if they were exported outside of Japan. But let me explain to you a little bit more about this model. Okay, now I'm reading. It was only officially sold in Japan. So there it goes. That answers your question and my question, in case you were questioning yourself. Now this is an this model was made between 1990 and 1996. It's about a six-year run. They came as automatics and they came out as manual. One thing I do have to mention, I have noticed that in Japan, it's a lot like North America. They're very fond of automatics. I know in Europe, they're really not. In Latin America, they're really not. At least in like South America, they love their stick shift manual cars. Also in Europe, I noticed that too. But when it comes to Japan, I have done a, quite a few reviews already. And I have read, read that even small, scar, small cars like these... I even seen K cars with an automatic transmission. So that lets me know they're very fond of their automatics. I thought only in North America automatics were really like the car of choice. But I'm noticing that also in Japan. Not sure if they love them as much as we do in them in North America because they're practical. You don't have to be changing gears, all that. You know the whole you know the whole nine yards. But um I'm no noticing in Japan they had the same type of taste. Okay, this game is a 1.5 four cylinder, not a very big engine. It was okay. Um, let's see more about this car. I love the color. I'm going to say that right now. It is a really attractive color. That, you know, that bubble type of glass. I could see only the center opens up. It reminds me a lot of the Subaru. Uh, there was a Zoo, Subaru sports car, which I not fully remember right now the, the name. I think in... Japan, they call them the LC1. Here in North America, we call them the CRX, something like that. It was a sports car and also had the same type of window system. The re only the center. But I mean the center, I mean this little part right here. That's the only part that opens up. You can see the rest of it is only like a, it looks like a bubble spaceship. It looks like a little spaceship. It's a lot of glass in it. I, I love that, all that glass. That makes it look very concept type of car. Only this little part right here, which is like the the support cabin. You know, the car has to have some type of support in the to make it safe. But very attractive. You know, the rear of this car give me Mazda. Mazda. Um, what was the name of that Mazda? Is this, 323 Mazda 3 323 from that era it gives me that the coupe ver version that had in Europe and in the rest of the world not in North America but the rest of the world had a four door coupe type 
and it had this type of it looked like similar to it all right guys so i'm gonna go around a few times and i'll be right back All right, guys, so I'm back. What do you guys think about this type of futuristic cars? To me, it looked very futuristic, especially for a 1990 car. All that glass, all that, you know, shape, like a egg-shaped type sports car to me, but they call them a 2 plus 2 hatchback. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but a 2 plus 2, excuse my ignorance, but... I'll find out. I'm going to do my little research afterwards. What do you guys think about it? I especially like the black little, you know, the, the spoiler and the rear top. Plus the color of the car itself. It gives a nice blend. It looks attractive. It looks very small. i never seen them in person. I could see it's very small. You know, I could see it's very Japanese because it has the... Steering wheel on the right hand side. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think about these cars. Have you seen them in person? Have you ever drove one of these? Uh, have you ever visited Japan? Maybe you have a friend that drove you one, let you drive one. Um, maybe in a car show. Don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up. I really, really appreciate always. You know, you're. you're Showing me that you're enjoying this video as much as I enjoy making them. And don't forget to click and subscribe. When you click and subscribe, uh, you click the bell next to the subscribe button. It will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Take care of yourselves more than ever. And goodbye.